Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand and remove all headgear as the Air Force Junior ROTC, under the direction of Colonel Steve Muse, performs the presentation of colors. Presenting the colors today is Commander Nicholas Borowski, accompanied by Justice Johnson, Justin Smith, and Mason Denault. The national anthem will be performed by our senior concert choir members. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Hello, Fargo South High class of 2021. My name is Emma Rudolph, and I'll, I'm honored to be your Master of Ceremonies this afternoon. I'm glad to see people sitting in these seats instead of having to be doing this from a tiny box over Zoom. You guys, we made it. Well, I mean, barely. 2020 was quite the year, but evidently we made it work considering we're here now. We've come a long way from our elementary school selves, racing to play four square at recess, fighting over the highly coveted bungee cord desks and taking our nap time for granted. I mean, remember when our biggest problem was getting into the lunchroom and realizing that you actually wanted the cold lunch even though in the morning you said you wanted hot? Life was tough. What if your best friend wasn't in your desk pod or God forbid you had to turn a card to red? But we learned so many important and foundational things in elementary school. We were taught how to work in a team and to work with what we were given. Maybe you didn't like your desk group, but you came to learn that those kids weren't half bad. I guarantee you some of them are still your best friends today. Middle school came with less ease and more terror. We were all brought together into a huge school with ax body spray filled hallways, combination lockers, having to change for gym class, and only four minutes to get up three flights of stairs. 
Although middle school did come with a few perks, we had the ability to pick up an instrument and play in the band or the orchestra, extras at lunch, and who could forget the seventh and eighth grade parties? A dim gym, horrible nachos, and a fake love by Drake on an endless loop wasn't a party by any means, but hey, we made it work. <laughs> we started to come together as the class of 21 instead of a classroom of 19 or 20. Middle school taught us how to work with all types of people and find what makes us uniquely us. By the time we were incoming freshmen, we thought we knew the ups and downs of high school before the year even began. We were told stories of upperclassmen who would line the halls and scream at the freshmen in highlighter-colored t-shirts on the first day of school. Seemed like we had a long way to go until we'd ever be that put together. We were scared. Scared of AP tests stacked with impossible math homework and worried about heading to the health science room and never finding our way back. There were millions of clubs and varsity sports to be involved in. How could we choose? Or what if we didn't want to choose any? It was overwhelming, but we figured it out. As our time at South went on, we slowly got the hang of things. And by junior year, we thought it'd be smooth sailing from here on out. And for the most part, it was until March hit. Prom was right around the corner with spring sports seasons and EDC music not far behind. We were gearing up for a full spring calendar. Then suddenly the calendar was wiped clean and replaced with online classes, no extracurriculars, too much Tiger King, and not enough toilet paper. It was quite the challenge, but somehow we all made it through. The no-fail policy certainly didn't hurt any. Even though we spent our last three months of junior year apart, the class of 2021 has still been through a lot together. Good, bad, and ugly. And trust me, there was plenty of ugly. Personally, I went the bootcut jeans and really heavy bangs route, but plenty of Under Armour headbands and boys dressed like highlighters were among us all. Even through the ugly of middle school, underappreciated simplicity of elementary, and the ups and downs of high school, we were determined to work things out as they happened. Our senior year has been filled with unknowns from the start, but we've always rolled with the punches and tried to make it work. Being here today means we've tackled our final high school challenge. Maybe some of us battled harder than others, but we all fought through, and today all of that work finally pays off. It's a great honor to get to introduce our first speaker to you. When he's not scoring goals on the hockey rink, soloing like a beast on the trumpet, or running touchdowns on the football field, I guarantee you he's quoting The Truman Show, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, or Robin Hood Men in Tights. In the fall, he'll be attending NDSU for a degree in mechanical engineering and tearing it up while doing so, I'm sure. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming to the podium, Lars Hager. Fargo South High School graduates. What's up? Man, is it? It's so hot in here. Or maybe that's, uh, that's just Dane Sterlockson. For those of you who don't know me, I try to stay as humble as possible. So let's hear for me. Yeah. And of course, all this teachers, staff, parents, and whoever else is here today deserve a way bigger round of applause too, so let's hear it for them. Yeah, you guys. My dad also graduated from Fargo South many moons ago in 1980, but that's another story. Fargo South has changed a lot since then. It truly is a magical place. Its students come from around the world to see magic tricks, such as homework randomly disappearing, eight-page papers being written one night, and four years of your life flash before you. Street poet and philosopher Drake stated, started from the bottom, now we're here. We made it here. Congratulations to all of you. As many of you know, I play sports. Hockey and football were huge parts of my high school career. As a team, we competed through dubs, 
and Els, and we made many memories along the way. Who could forget Xander Coleman's 10-yard punt? Or that time Bakar Fula made it on Sports Center. And of course, Cedric Boa with the killer dance moves in the locker room. However, we wouldn't have made it anywhere without our coaches. And for the last time, hey yo, where my DB's at? Yeah, yeah. Please give another round of applause for all the coaches at Fargo South. I love homework, said no one ever. Riley Martin once told me, never underestimate the power of copy paste. <laughs> it truly is the eighth wonder of the world. I want to give a big thank you to Snip Tool, Spark Notes, Quizlet, EasyBib, and Wikipedia for always being there for us. Shout out to all the people who have sent me answers over Snapchat. <laughs> Clutch. No, the homework will not be missed, but you teachers certainly will be. We might forget what you said, but we will never forget how you made us feel. Teaching kids to count is fine, but teaching kids what counts is best. All of you teachers have done so much for us, and that young Travis Hackey is clear as mud. <laughs> I would like to end my speech with a couple quotes. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides of the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger on those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. In this quote, I like to think that we are the weak and we are being led by the shepherds of our parents, teachers, and peers through the valley of darkness of our lives. And I always just wanted to say that on TV. And finally, a wise man once said, enjoy the moments that are lit, but cherish the moments that are dummy lit. <laughs> I hope to see many of you next year and years to come. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you. Thank you, Lars, for that killer insight into the high school experience. The plans for our future are indeed clear as mud. Our next speaker has an incredible amount of accomplishments through her high school career. She served as Key Club President, a Don Quixote's Improv Troop Leader, BOV member, a state champion in varsity speech and debate, an all-state award winner for band, tennis player, an avid performer in school musicals and plays. She's honestly way more qualified to be up here than either of the two of us are. In the fall, she'll be attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities for journalism. At least, that's the plan as of lately. Please help me in welcoming up to the podium, Maddie Robinson. Good afternoon, everyone. It is an honor to be up here speaking in front of all of you today. It is crazy to think that we're all graduating high school considering some of us have known each other for upwards of over a decade now. Some of us walked into the same kindergarten classrooms together, but in just a short time, we will be walking out of this building with high school diplomas in our hand and some of us going our separate ways. Where did all the time go? It seemed like just yesterday we were frantically trying to learn our lunch numbers in order to type them into the keypad in the cafeteria and now those same ID numbers are going to be retired from the system soon. It seemed like not too long ago we were performing our first shows and concerts and playing our first games and now our high school careers and those activities have ended. Or that one time in fifth grade when that big heat wave happened at Lewis and Clark and a few other elementary schools and we didn't have air conditioning for like a week and then we didn't have school and we thought it was the coolest thing ever. 
Yeah, we had a big storm coming, didn't we? But now that we're graduating, it's a good time to reflect on the past and the people that helped us get to where we are today. Whether it was family members, teachers, coaches, advisors, friends, we all have at least one person that supported us in our endeavors and will continue to do so as we go forward into this next chapter in our lives. Whether it was the late nights, early mornings, last minute cramming for tests, tournaments, games, or performances, the last four years haven't been easy, or at the very least, they've been quite busy. Adding a global pandemic to the mix and missing out on our last quarter of our junior year and throwing off our entire perception <laughs> of what we thought our senior year was going to be definitely didn't help either. Sorry, this keeps slipping. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I noticed y'all looking. All right, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Plus, I doubt many of us can say we've gotten eight hours of sleep at any point in the last couple years. But ultimately, it's the people we've surrounded ourselves with the past four years and before that that will have the greatest impact on us. You know, hold on, sorry. I'll put it back on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, put a, should have put more pins in. All right. But ultimately, it's the people we've surrounded ourselves with the past four years and before that that will have the greatest impact on us. Not the endless tests, not the dozens of essays and worksheets and projects, not the games, not the concerts, not the plays or performances. While those will no doubt impact us, it is the people that will have the most profound effect on us. Over the years, we have seen each other grow in ways that we couldn't have imagined when we were kids, both character-wise and height-wise too. For example, in kindergarten, I thought I was going to marry Michael Bruner, but thank goodness I grew from that. All of us have seen each other grow into the people we want to be, or at least are on our way into doing so. Now, I want all of you to look around at each other, but actually, like, look around, look around, glance around each other, all right, all right. Whether you know it or not, you have all impacted each other over the years, big or small. The reason we are who we are today is because of each other. Every time we meet someone, we give parts of ourselves to the other people, and we take parts of others and carry them with us. I like to think of ourselves as big tapestries almost. Now the thread to make these tapestries is pretty thin when you compare it to the whole picture. That thin thread is the little moments and memories and things that we've shared with each other over the time we've known each other, whether it's been 13 years or a couple of months. The memories are all interwoven and connected to make one big tapestry that is each of us. So for example, I still have the tie that Dana Wiley made me in sixth grade. I, the books I read in seventh grade book club that Lily Hauser forced me to join are still sitting on my shelf, but I'm really glad that you made me join that book club, so thank you, Lily. I'm still mad that the Tomcats won the sixth grade Olympics. I still remember the fifth grade class newspaper that Ann Smith and I tried and failed to make. I'm still glad that I went up to Stella Peterson in the locker bay in sixth grade because my mom wanted me to branch out. I still remember the first debate tournament that Layla Kantarvik and I competed in. I remember when Ann Lockheed and I were the only freshmen in the exploring journalism class and we were terrified out of our mind. I still think about the fact that Victoria Houston told me that she thinks the purple Skittles taste like the dentist office in sixth grade. Every time I look at a bottle of eye drop solution, I think about the fact that Liz Wilhelmy had to lean over me in her car and pour copious amounts of it into my eyes because they were so dry last year. And I still think about the eighth grade musical to this day, although I honestly wish I didn't. I could go on for hours. I'm sure many of you could as well about some of the people here. All of these things are small moments that didn't last too long at the time, but behind them are memories that we will take with us once we leave this building. Many of us are heading off into different directions in the future. We won't see each other as much as we used to, and we may never see some of each other ever again. We won't be able to walk down the hallways of South and see each other anymore, and we won't be able to perform our plays with the same groups anymore, or perform in games and playing games. We won't see each other at homecoming games anymore. We won't be able to dance the night away with each other at prom or any other school dance. But that's okay. One thing I'll say is we'll still see each other around. The things we see or hear or think about that remind us of each other will be a constant reminder of the effects we've had on the other people in this class. And really, as long as we carry those memories with us, that's all we really need. 
So even when some of us don't see each other next year or even ever again, we'll still see the good memories and moments, no matter how small, and we'll be able to look back on those moments fondly. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. To keep the theme of quoting movies going, I'll leave you with one of my favorites. Carpe diem, seize the day, make your lives extraordinary. To the class of 2021, may your dreams take you to new heights. May you continue to impact the people around you. May you truly seize the day. And may you make your lives extraordinary, even when we don't see each other. Thank you. Thank you, Maddie, for a wonderful speech. I too am still bitter about the sixth grade Olympics, but I guess life goes on. Now, class of 2021, it's finally that time. In a few moments, we will cross this stage and become Bruin alumni. I hope that you're all incredibly eager and truly feel proud as you look back on our 13 years together. Your hard work finally gets to pay off. This is truly a moment you're never going to forget, so cherish it. Now, without further ado, our principal, Dr. Todd Birch. Thank you, Emma. Good afternoon and welcome. It's a pleasure to have you present today to celebrate the academic ac accomplishments of the Fargo class of 2021. In 1967, South High opened the doors for the first time. Today, we are celebrating the 53rd class that has graduated from Sar Fargo South and continued to celebrate a tradition of excellence. As you've heard over the past four years, it is safe to say that 2.75 of those years were traditional learning days, and the final 1.25 years were, in some respects, very non-traditional. Whether this class was asked to excel as in-person learners, hybrid learners, or virtual learners, they met each delivery model head-on and persevered through course demands and teacher expectations. I am proud to report that the members of the South High Class of 2021 showed what it means to be a Bruin and to do things the Bruin way. Congratulations and well done. Speaking of thanks, I also express my thanks and gratitude to the parents, guardians, and family members for the encouragement and support provided to the graduates throughout their years of education and activity involvement. It has been our privilege to assist in the social and educational development of your sons and daughters. And as you've heard, another group that deserves so much credit, especially this year, are all teachers, not just the high school teachers, but the middle school and elementary teachers as well. So at this time, I would ask that the Fargo South teachers, staff, and any former Bruin Elementary and Middle School teachers that are here, please stand at this time to be recognized. Please stand. Thank you. Graduates, my final question to you is to answer the following. If you had to summarize this school year with one word, what word would you choose to complete the following? The 2020-2021 school year was the year of the blank. For me, my word is mask. The other day I read a tweet that made me chuckle. When will we see the first mask quilt? <laughs> The mask also became somewhat of a fashion statement and somehow we all ended up with lots of them. I chose mask for the following reasons. First, I will remember all of you as superheroes. You, along with a number of comic characters that wear a mask, such as Batman, The Incredibles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Spider-Man and The Flash to name a few, are always there to help and support the needs of others. I ask you to reflect on all the times this past year when you helped a peer, a family member, or maybe someone you didn't even know. Thank you for being a helping hero. In addition, the word mask reminds me of four principles that were learned during the pandemic. M, 
Make the best out of opportunities and challenges. Albert Einstein said, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. A positive attitude and outlook are paramount. A is for adversity. Disarelli once stated that there is no education like adversity. Every adult and many students here today can attest that adversity has been one of the toughest teachers we've ever had. S is to serve others. To be a servant leader provides purpose, meaning, and a focus on the well-being of the communities to which you belong. And K is a Japanese word, word called Kaizen, and it means to change for the better or continuous improvement. My goal is that you always change or adjust for the better and not the bitter. So Bruin heroes, next time you see a mask, remember that you always make the best out of your opportunities and challenges, embrace adversity, serve others, and change for the better. Lou Holtz once said, ability is what you're capable of doing, motivation determines what you do, and attitude determines how well you do it. It has been the pleasure of the faculty, staff, and administration of South High School to prepare, encourage, inspire, and motivate you to achieve personal success. Graduates, maximize your ability and potential to be the best version of yourself as you strive for excellence and you do so with Bruin class. Congratulations, class of 2021. And before I turn the podium over to Dr. Gandhi, I do have to ask, once a Bruin? Excellent. At this time, I certify that the students in the Fargo South High class of 2021 that are about to receive their diplomas have met all the requirements that have been established by the Fargo Board of Education and the North Dakota Department of Public Instruction. Before I present the Bruin class of 2021 to Dr. Gandhi, it is my pleasure to say thank you to Dr. Gandhi for his leadership as superintendent of Fargo Schools for especially this past year. And I also thank Fargo Public School board members Robin Nelson and Dr. Tracy Newman for their service and awarding diplomas today. Can you give them a round of applause, please? It gives me a great deal of pleasure to present the Bruin class of 2021 to Fargo Public School Superintendent, Dr. Rupak Gandhi. I think we've all heard a lot about how hard our staff has worked this year, how many changes that we've had to endure, and how many just countless amounts of extra hours that our staff, our leadership, our teachers have had to put into this year just to make sure that this moment is possible for all of you. I'm not surprised that Dr. Burst decided to pay me back by making me the last thing before we get to present multiple hundred students their diplomas. So I promise you, I will try to make my speech as short as possible because I know that that's what we're all here for. But I do want to congratulate you. Congratulations. On behalf of your parents, friends, teachers, administrators, and everyone else whose lives you've touched, let me be amongst the first to express how incredibly proud we are of your achievements that we recognize today. The class of 2021 will always be special because you demonstrated resiliency, adaptability, and a dedication to your own success while continuing to manage a new challenge that was foreign to all of us. For that, you should be celebrated. As we look back on this year and where the COVID-19 pandemic has brought us, it is exciting to see an end in sight. While the pandemic might soon be behind us, it certainly will not be forgotten. Our society will continue to look back on this year and relive both the trials and tribulations endured during this pandemic and many of the successes from what we've learned during this unique time for all of us. This graduating class of 2021 exemplifies that success. 
In, in addition to achieving the academic milestones of your graduation, your class has demonstrated leadership, grace, understanding, and to me, the most importantly, taught all of us that sometimes individual sacrifice is necessary for the common good. Thank you for reminding those of us that are sitting on this stage, your peers, your family, why we support you. As you leave and look back on today and your accomplishments thus far, never forget who you are. Know that you've already proven your potential. Now it's time to meet that potential. Additionally, please keep in mind that you're never alone. Today, you become a member of the Fargo South Alumni, an exclusive group that will always support one another and uphold standards of excellence that make our community gleam with pride. Your journey forward may not always be easy, but you've demonstrated the skills and ability to overcome any obstacle thrown your way. Your future is also the future of Fargo South. I look forward to hearing about the many accolades you and your classmates will soon earn and will take pride in calling you Bruins. Remember to come back and visit us, share your successes, be role models to future Bruins, and those of you that are going into education, come back to Fargo Public Schools and educate future Bruins as well. Thank you. At this time, I would ask our first row of graduates to please stand and approach the stage to be able to receive their diplomas. While we set the stage in our first row approaches, I'd like a little uh, audience participation, please. If you are a graduate of Fargo South, if you are a graduate of Fargo South, would you please stand? All right, there we go. Stay standing, please. If you're a graduate of Fargo Public Schools, would you please stand? Congratulations. If you are here to celebrate the accomplishments of one of our graduates today, would you please stand? And for us, we get to clap for you. Anytime.
Aiden Donald. Oh. <laughs> Ellie Eshorn. <laughs> Kelly Emerson. <laughs> Aria England. Sibomana Enoch. Christian Erber. Jaden Erber. Destiny Espinosa. Madeline Esterby. <laughs> Abigail Evenson. Marin Ewerts. William Fair. <laughs> William Finn. Kaylee Finneseth. Jack Flaherty. Jake Fox. Abubakar Fula. Elon Gala <laughs> Sujan Gale <laughs> Bree Gilmore <laughs> Vivian Goose Kiana Gould. Anna Gatoramson. Lillian Hauser. Lars Hager. Haley Hansen. Yeah. Owen Hansen. Yeah. Isaac Harmon. Foster Harvala. Trey Hendrickson. Matthew Hestalen. Tyler Hong. Madison Hoxted. Jace Holston. Tyler Hook. Samantha Hoselton. Victoria Houston. Hawa Hussein. Ethan Jablin.
Tristan Jacobson. Jason Johnson. Thomas Jonason, unable to be here today. McCartney Jun. Arthur Case. Jonathan Kamara. Layla Kantarovic. Grace Kennedy. Peyton Kessel. Tanner Kirkaby. Tate Klug. Ansu Kumara. Tori Mae Kruger. Destiny Kirkowski. Blake Labor. <laughs> Jocelyn Larson. Hugh La. Nicholas Lapine. Ann Lahid. Taylor Labungo. Aiden Lucky. Avon Lundgren. Antonio Lyons. Jade Maloney. Mason Markovic. Yavana Marshall. Riley Martin. Emma Marks. Kyle McDonald. Bailey Miller. Isabella Miller. Jocelyn Mills. Angelina Moan. Benita Monger. Bashal Monger. Trayvon Montgomery. Benjamin Montplaisir. Benjamin Moreau. Jamie Munoz.
Fred Marguana Shaka. Braden Newman. Rebecca Nina. Taylor Nitschke Dermid. Fidel Kurunziza. Angelique Nira Samaza. Jaden Nystrom. Amanda Oka. Seth Olson. Isabel Oslin. Kyle Parsley. Ian Paulson. Jordan Pesh. Brianna Peterson. Stella Peterson. Harrison Flipson. Zara Plumley. Faithia Prack. Sydney Quabell. Kalpana Rai. Krishika Rai. Sangam Rai. Hari Regmi. Gavin Ruley, unable to be here today. Emma Rieger. Anna Robinette. Madeline Robinson. Annie Ross. Hertie Kiza Rudeha. Emma Rudolph. Kayla Bruziska. Amina Sabanovic. Gwyneth Saylor. Zainab Samara. Monica Sauer. Brandy Chef. Paige Schroeder. Jacob Shah. Charles Schulz.
Hunter Schwartz. Isabella Schwartz. Lockling Seelig. Tyler Schaffer. Emily Sherva. Ann Smith. Rhiannon Solberg. Blake Sorby. Alex Stahl. Kamani Steckler. Gannon Steffes. Dane Sterlogson. Catherine Suda. Sasha Thayer. Brooke Thorsness. Thon Tran. Logan Tripke. Brooklyn Ulrich. Isaac Valness. Seth Volk. Jalen Wagner. Sarah Wall. Jamal Watson. Keltlin Wetch. Ellie Wilcox. Dana Wiley. Elizabeth Wilhelmy. Ashley Jean Williams. Dominic Williams. Connor Wolf. Emma Rage. Isaiah Zerface.
honored to get <clears throat> to be the first of the people today to say congratulations to the class of 2021. Now on to the concert choir to perform Benediction under the direction of Mrs. Sarah Lickblau. As the students are uh, returning to their chairs, we just do have one correction. Um, Aiden Eckert, if you would please stand. We apologize for missing you uh, through the uh, awarding of diplomas, so congratulations. Well, congratulations, it's finally official. Who would have thought we'd become that obnoxious tunnel of ambassadors on the first day of school instead of the terrified underclassmen being forced to walk through it? We've become the team captains, the weight room record holders, the loudest in the student section, drama leads, the club presidents. We decided to take charge of our senior year challenges and all. It's become more and more obvious that the class of 21's motto is let's make it work. Only have a few vouchers for the football games? No worries, we'll have the senior players steal them from the underclassmen and run them to as many people as possible just minutes before the game. We'll make it work. Oh, only half of the school is in the building at a time during homecoming week. Well, we'll all just get up early on our days off, loiter in the parking lot, and then parade the halls for 15 minutes just to go right back home and go to bed. We'll make it work. Whether we were barely doing online assignments or having only half of us in the building at a time, we were going to make our senior year work. Today we move forward from our high school challenges, like 7.45 a.m. BAM times and running the mile in PE, to our next challenge, admittedly a much scarier one, our future. For 13 years, we've been making it work with the instruction given by our parents, teachers, and other supporters, but starting today, we get to decide what comes next, and our time at South High has helped us to prepare for it. Our senior year has taught us to persevere, 
go with the flow and never take an experience for granted. And I urge you to take those skills with you out into the real world. Soak up every moment you can, because we all know how they can be gone in an instant. I look out today at a group of well-rounded and well-equipped individuals that I couldn't have been more grateful to spend my time with. Now, I can't quote a movie near as well as Lars can, but I do feel that this office quote truly sums things up, so I'm gonna try my best. As the great Nard dog, Andy Bernard once said, I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you actually left them. Today, our good old days as South High students come to a close, but many more incredible moments are just on the horizon. And there's no need to worry because, as we've always been told, once a Bruin, always a Bruin. The future of the class of 2021 isn't for certain, but I do know one thing. Whatever it is, we are going to make it work. Congratulations to everyone and hats off to the class of 2021. Please stand for the school song. Congratulations to everyone. Thank you for coming and hats off to the class of 2021.